Well, how do you make pumpkin pie even better? Miss Daisy's found a way to improve on a classic recipe. It's butternut pumpkin pie, as in butternut squash? Butternut squash. No kidding. Well, look at the texture, taste it, and it's very much like pumpkin. Yeah. Uh, but a little more savory tasting. Mm -hmm. And the original recipe that I chose to prepare was made with sweet potatoes. Okay. So then I took sweet potatoes to butternut squash, nice. and it's wonderful, wonderful. Okay. Well, how do we get started? And it's so easy. I didn't even bring all my big mixing stand, just the bowl, and I've already whisked together four whole eggs, and then you can take the whisk, and we're going to add all some right. other ingredients. And this is one and one third cup of half and half cream. Stir that in. And then next is our one cup of um, butternut squash. And so did you cook that in the oven or the microwave or how bake do you do it? it? Bake it. Bake just it? cut okay. it in half, cut it in fours, open it out. Okay. And just, um, yeah. I love butternut squash. Oh, and it smells divine. Mm -hmm. And we didn't, we didn't season it because there's enough uh, wonderful ingredients to season in the uh, rest of the okay. mixture. And this is a cup of pumpkin puree, but I chose pumpkin pie filling. Okay. And as you're baking it, it might seem a little runny, but it definitely works. Well, yeah, with all those eggs, I would yes, imagine it would firm yes, it right yes. up. Yes. And so, this is um, about a fourth of a cup of honey. Oh, nice. And yes, it is sweet, but the honey makes it just the perfect combination. And then next is a uh, um, tablespoon and a half of all-purpose flour. Keeps, see how easy that's coming together? Mm -hmm. About a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. And then we start with uh, ginger, half a teaspoon, nutmeg, half a teaspoon, and some cloves and some cinnamon. Okay. And this is it. And you could do this with your electric mixer if you want oh, to. Oh, yes. But or just give yourself a workout. See how great <laughs> doing it, this, it, right? it comes together. Then, uh, this ready? pie crust, use your favorite pie crust. I mean, it's fine to use a frozen one, and, but we chose to make this one and pour it in and you want to bake it 375 for about 45 minutes and then it will start the crust will start browning before the mixture is set mm -hmm. so take some aluminum foil cut a circle a big hole in the center and then this outer circle goes over the crust and in voila another 15 minutes and it's ready so it doesn't brown then when you right. got it covered with right. foil but it right. cooks the center yes. really well yes. yes nice how do you test it uh you can use a uh, well, at, at the market, I used a knife. It's tucked down in mm -hmm. yesterday until it comes out clean. Yeah. Or if you're a baker, then you'll have some elements in your kitchen. Mm -hmm. It's very similar to a straw that you put down in called a baker's nail. You can do that, oh, yeah. and it just goes on and on. But you Imagine do, a toothpick would probably work yes, too, Yes, huh? toothpick yeah. works great. Or the jiggle test. Right, right. <laughs> well, and that's a beautiful display. You've topped it with uh, some leaves made out of pastry, which is so pretty. Yeah, we did that, and then that's some chopped uh, butternut squash on top as, as a garnish and you're ready to eat. Um, this pie can also be frozen. Oh, nice. It freezes you can make it well. ahead. Make it now and start uh, have it for the holiday Wouldn't season. Wouldn't that be nice? Yes. Yeah, because we want to minimize the, the work that we do yes. in the kitchen during yes. that time. Well, that's great. I love this recipe. I can't wait to try well, it. I can't wait for you to either, and I want our viewers to taste it. It's wonderful. I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. Well, you can get this recipe online in the Talk of the Town section at newschannel5.com, or you can let Daisy make it for you over oh, at Miss Daisy's yes. Kitchen inside Grassland Market in Franklin. Thanks so much. Come see us. We will.